We diagnose obstructive sleep apnea with a sleep study. There's two types of sleep studies. One is a home sleep study or a home sleep apnea test. Typically, we monitor breathing with that, but not always sleep. So we can monitor whether or not somebody is having apneas. Typically, most devices have a receptor under the nose to measure airflow and belts to measure effort on the chest and the abdomen or the stomach, and then an oxygen sensor on the finger. There are other devices that just go on the finger that measure changes in pulse rate and things like this to try to predict obstructive sleep apnea and other various home sleep, other various home sleep apnea testing devices. The other way to diagnose obstructive sleep apnea is with an in-lab sleep study, and that means the person comes to the sleep lab and sleeps overnight, and we monitor the sleep with electrodes on the head. We monitor breathing with the same res uh, bre respiratory sensors, so an airflow receptor under the nose, in front of the mouth, belts on the chest and the abdomen to measure breathing effort, an oxygen sensor on the finger to measure oxygen saturation. They'll have leads on their legs to, mo to monitor leg movements, and then typically there's a video as well in case there's any abnormal behaviors during sleep that we need to catch. The sleep testing is always done during sleep. You diagnose obstructive sleep apnea during a test done during sleep. You can't diagnose it while you're awake because it doesn't happen when you're awake. It only happens when you're sleeping.